हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट वर्मर्स सिंड्रोम इन वर्मर्स सिंड्रोम इट इज एक्चुअली ए मेन वन सिंड्रोम सो इन मेन वन सिंड्रोम और वर्मर्स सिंड्रोम वी हैव थ्री कॉम्पोनेंट्स वन द पेशेंट विल हैव पैराथाइरोड एडिनोमा सेकेंड देर इज पैंक्रियाटिक न्यूरो एंडोक्राइन ट्यूमर थर्ड द पेशेंट विल हैव पिटूटरी एडिनोमा दिस थ्री टूगेदर दिस ट्रायड इज कॉल्ड हैज मेन वन सिंड्रोम ना इन द मेन वन सिंड्रोम फर्स्ट पैराथाइरोड एडिनोमा पैराथाइरोड एडिनोमा इज एक्चुअली द मोस्ट कॉमन कंजेनिटल एनोवली विच इज सीन सॉरी मोस्ट कॉमन एंडोक्राइन एनोवली मोस्ट काइन सॉरी पैराथा पैराथाइरोड एडिनोमा इज मोस्ट कॉमन एंड इन द पैराथाइरोड एडिनोमा द मोस्ट कॉमन एंडोक्राइन एबनॉर्मैलिटी इन पैराथाइरोड एडिनोमा इन मेन वन सिंड्रोम इज एक्चुअली मल्टी glandular parathyroid tumors are seen so these are multi glandular parathyroid tumors are the most common endocrine abnormalities in parathyroid adenoma then among them here in parathyroid adenoma most common manifestation is hyperthyroidism because of hyperthyroidism there is increased parathyroid hormone because whenever there is increased parathyroid hormone obviously this parathyroid hormone will cause increased calcium uptake leading to hypercalcemia is seen in these patients so most common endocrine abnormality is multi glandular parathyroid tumor most common manifestation is hyperparathyroidism first biochemical abnormality is hypercalcemia then we have the next second important is pancreatic neuroendocrine tumor okay in pancreatic neuroendocrine tumor it is actually the second among all this is the second most common manifestation next to parathyroid adenoma so in the pancreatic neuroendocrine tumor the most common pancreatic neuroendocrine tumor is non functioning polypeptide non functioning pancreatic polypeptide is the most common parathyroid sorry most common pancreatic neuroendocrine uh, tumors so most common pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors is non functioning or pancreatic polypeptide and if you were asked what is the most common functioning neuroendocrine tumor most common functioning neuroendocrine tumor is actually a gastrinoma followed by insulinoma so most common functioning neuroendocrine tumor is initially it is gastrinoma followed by insulinoma then if you were asked what is the most common pancreatic hormone to be increased in neuroendocrine tumor is most commonly increased pancreatic hormone is pancreatic polypeptide is more commonly increased followed by gastrin and followed by insulin is most commonly increased pancreatic hormone and then the third important abnormality is pituitary adenoma now pituitary adenoma in the pituitary adenoma the most common pituitary adenoma seen in men one syndrome is actually a prolactinoma is the most common pituitary adenoma seen in men one syndrome thank you and thank you for watching